He's the mosquito man of Forsyth County. Now, what's the worst part about working around mosquitoes all the time? <laughs> Um, none. <laughs> so at the moment, he's having a lot of fun. So right now, it's real important us, for us to get out to all these big swamps and these vernal pools that are in the Piedmont um, and hit them with larvicides so we can reduce those numbers, and hopefully that will help us avoid any problems this year. We followed him to the Salem Creek Greenway, an area that's been treated several times since February. After taking a few dips, the water's looking good. That means we're doing something right. <laughs> Success. The height of mosquito season is still a month or two away, but combating the issue is really an all year job. So the cooler months leading into spring and summer are especially important because it takes longer for mosquitoes to multiply in colder temperatures. So cold days like the one we're having in May gives Harrison more time to make that larvae disappear before these mosquitoes have a chance to hatch. And this is just a very strange season. Typically speaking, by this time of the year, um, this water that's behind us would uh, already start to be drying up. People always want me to compare and year, uh, compare years and predict, and it's just absolutely impossible. What you can do is be prepared. This new ULV machine allows them to work much faster area that could have taken three and a half hours can now be done in 17 minutes. We got this um, simply because we had human cases of West Nile virus um, and we had positive pools of mosquitoes and we need to uh, maintain, a, um, we need to be really proactive against that. So.